Hey yeah, guys, welcome to another episode of Quali Pops. We're doing something different today. We're creating some coffee, whipped coffee. Hi everyone, as always, I am your host, Barack Obama. Let's get started. Can you tell that I just woke up? No, cause the hat is hiding all of this. <laughs> so my friend Ricky alerted me to this TikTok video where she's making whipped coffee, like whipped cream. But there's no cream, it's vegan, it's just ice, almond milk I think, and then the whipped coffee on top. I thought that was pretty cool. I love coffee, I like sugar, I like cream, but again there's no cream in this. But 2 out of 3 ain't bad. So instead of creating my normal coffee for the morning, we're going to be creating this together. So let's get started. So you're gonna need equal parts of three things. Instant coffee grounds, sugar, and hot water. And everyone I've seen do this is doing it in a, with a hand mixer, but I only have a stand mixer. So I'm gonna be doing it in here, which is probably not the best because you only need two tablespoons of each because uh, it's only going in one glass, right? And this is huge! How many quarts is this? I don't know, I didn't look when I bought it. So let's get started. So this is minute two of me stirring. The sugar, the coffee, is all starting to emulsify and it's getting really thick, which I didn't expect. I think I still need like five more minutes of mixing, so let's get to it. So it's done. I'm kind of curious about how stiff these peaks get because I want to see if it's going to be like a meringue or if I were, which is going to be strange because it's just coffee and sugar and a little bit of water. So, ready? <gasps> That's pretty stiff. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I like it. I was gonna just put this in my mouth right now. I can't do that. Oh, I'm alone. No one else is eating this. Oh my God. It tastes like marshmallow fluff. Wow, there's so much coffee in this. Don't let the light color fool you. When you take a lick of this, it is super strong. Oh, I like drinking espresso and this is just as strong as that. It's so silky. Oh, so I'm gonna start to mix this for probably just a minute more to make sure that it's stiff as it can get. And then I'm gonna create some drinks. All right, to finish this off, you just need glasses, you need ice, and you need milk. But I do wanna make this a little bit more fancy because I have nothing else to do. So I'm gonna add some hazelnut extract. And it's 10 in the morning, but I'm on quarantine life. So we're just gonna make some cocktails. It's okay, I have nothing else to do. Like literally, I have nothing else to do. I have caramel syrup, but I don't wanna add that because I know that this mixture is like super sweet. So I don't wanna add any more sweetness, except for the liquor, that's fine. I like that. So let's start mixing. It's test time. Let's test it. So the one thing that I like about this is that I've been shooting this video for like 30 minutes and the peak is still very high. It hasn't really moved at all. Usually with whipped cream, it just like sinks down after like 20 minutes. So the first one just has a little bit of hazelnut in the milk. 
there's no alcohol. Okay, so I'm gonna stir it just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh my god. Mmm, that is bomb! Because it's only partially mixed, you get the milk, the very like liquidy milk, and then all of a sudden you get this like flow of thick silk in your mouth, and then that's when all of the coffee hits your tongue. I love it, I love it. And you get this very full mouth flavor from all of the thick whipped coffee. It's good, I like it. So now we're gonna try the Kahlua. Um, I like how it's settled on the bottom and you get the difference in color. Ooh, that's good, like three layers. I don't know if I'm gonna like this as much because there's already coffee in the whipped coffee and there's so much coffee in the Kahlua too. But let's see, because Kahlua's really good. Oh my god, I'm excited. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is, it's too much coffee. It's too much. The flavor of the Kahlua is so good, but it's just too much. You know, it's the same thing as the regular version. I like the liquid and then that flow of like thick silk into your mouth. <laughs> That's what, actually, if you mix this thoroughly, the whole drink is just fantastic. It's not too much coffee. It just tastes like a really good drink. Let's try the Baileys. Look at that peak. See, still holding strong. Okay. Oh my God. It's just so cool to just like eat whipped cream. So we'll mix a little bit. I didn't put too much Baileys in this. Oh, wow, that's good. I maybe put a little too much Baileys, but that's okay. Actually, you know what? This is my least favorite of all three. And it's not that it tastes bad, it's just that this tastes the most like a cocktail, whereas the Kahlua tastes just like a coffee drink. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> Cheers to all my subscribers. Cheers to everybody who thumbed this video up. Cheers to the girl who created this. Oh, I'm gonna have such a good time editing this video. So this is how I'm holding up during quarantine. How are you doing? What are you doing while you're just stuck inside? If you wanna see more quarantine cooking videos, let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had such a good time. I love you, I'll see you very soon. Peace! Oh, uh, and also I'm gonna take a swig for Ricky. Oh my god, it's not even 12 yet. Thank you for telling me to create this video.